Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about tracking. Tracking is so important. Counting macros is very important. And if you're interested in hearing all about this topic, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so tracking, it is the number one most important thing that you can do for yourself on any eating plan. This is my belief because most of us, if any of you are on here for the first time, you probably came to my channel in the hopes of losing weight. Most of us on this journey started out to lose weight. Because of that, we fall into uh, a history of just eating whatever we want, whenever we want, and really not understanding portion control, portion sizes, and what macronutrients and micronutrients we're putting into our body. So with all of that being said, it is imperative that we learn the, ne the necessary tools to become successful, either at weight loss or health reasons or whatever your why may be. So for me, tracking is the number one most important thing. I've done it since day one and I continue to do it. I track every single morsel that goes into my mouth. I don't care if I'm out with friends, I don't care if I'm at a bar, whatever there's no excuse because most of us walk around with a cell phone and the most wonderful app that i found that helps me tremendously is my fitness pal even if you don't have an app you have a notes app on your phone under notes you can write everything that you eat everything that you drink every single thing some people get bored doing this some people don't want to be bothered some people say it's a hassle if that's the case then there should be no complaints if you wanna lose weight and get healthy, it's, it's very important that you track. Sometimes a whole day can go, let's say you didn't track, right? And you had your breakfast and a snack and lunch, maybe you're not hungry for a while. It is human nature, you don't really remember every single thing you've put into your mouth. The reason tracking helps is because it is a reflection tool. We use tracking in the keto world to monitor progress. One of the most important things about tracking that I can truly say has worked for me over the years is tracking before I eat. I track my day before I ever get there because it helps me do several things. Number one, it helps me prepare. I will have all of the necessary foods available because I, it's like a menu. You know when you go to a wedding and you get your little menu and you know what's on the menu? That's what it's like. So I know if I'm going to have eggs for breakfast and let's say tuna for lunch and maybe some chicken for dinner, maybe I allow myself a snack or two during the day, maybe I don't. If it's already in there, my tracking is done for the day and I don't have to worry about it and it doesn't become a major pain in the you know what. But if you don't do that, that's okay also. It's just what works for me. I like to know what I'm having before I have it, or at least some sense of that. Because if I do that, then I can just go about my day and not worry, especially on a weekend when I have a lot of things lined up to do. I don't wanna be like, hey, hold on, I gotta track this, or oh my gosh, what do I do? I like to put it in and I like to prepare, just me. But it helps so much, you guys. If you can get into a habit of basically training yourself to track your meals before you eat them, it's golden. You can go about your day, you can go about your evening. If you're one of those people that like to track as you go along, that's perfectly fine too. Whatever works. But I find I go food shopping, I like to go once a week, and then in between during the week, if I have to pick up fresh produce, then that's the way to do it. So if I map things out prior, at least a couple days in advance, then I know exactly what I have to buy at the store. Then I know when I come home from work, I'm not gonna be running around scrambling, oh my gosh, what do I eat? Everything is already there, counted, calculated, perfection. So, um, that's my best tip for tracking and I can't even imagine going through life at this rate without it. I literally cannot. And I track everything, everything. And even if I have my plan already in action and I have to deviate from that, that's quite okay too because sometimes life isn't about a, a planned out menu. 
you know, there might be times I have something already in my fitness pal for dinner and then dinner plans change and then I have to readjust. But I do it. I don't let it go, guys. It's so important. That is what keeps me on track. That is what can help you stay on track because it is like the best tool or it is the best tool that I can ever imagine having. I can't imagine doing keto or, you know, carving up or what have you, Atkins, Weight Watchers, everything is geared towards teaching you the right tools. And when you have those right tools, you'll be successful. So why not track? Because I see a lot of people not tracking or they track for a while and then they get bored and then they don't want to track anymore. But basically you're getting in your way of success. Now, if you have learned the proper tools and you feel that you can do this without tracking, then that's wonderful. But I know for a fact, especially with keto clients of mine, myself included, when we don't track and when we're not prepared, that is when we deviate. That is when, oh my gosh, I don't have the proper foods to eat and I don't know what to do because I'm starving, so eh, I'll cave today and I'll just restart tomorrow. I don't know about you guys, but there came a point in time in my life where I was so sick and tired of starting over, starting over, starting over. Hi, Paisley. I, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I wanted to become successful and be at that point already. I wanted to be where I'm at now years ago. I could never get there. I would get close and then I would take steps back. So the only thing really that has been consistent other than my focus and my determination is the tracking. Um, sleep comes and goes. I might get a full eight hours here and there, whatever. Um, I do wear a Fitbit. This thing is probably my best friend. It tracks everything. It tracks your sleep. It tracks your sleep habits. It tracks how much sleep you got, how deep of a sleep you got, and it sends you weekly reports. So you know if one week you're not doing so good or you're stalling, you look at your food, you look at your water, you look at your exercise and sleep. So tracking is not only food, it's everything. How much sleep did you get? Because you guys know when you have a lack of sleep, you're hungry for sweets. And that is because your energy level becomes so low that your body craves it. And it's doing that on purpose because you know, your body knows it needs energy to fulfill your day. And if you're running on E, you have to put fuel in. So our bodies do crave glucose when we're tired. So tracking sleep, tracking water, tracking food, tracking exercise, those are all things that I do on the daily. I know how many steps I get. I know what kind of activity I want to do for the week. I know how many days during the week I want to go to the gym. I know how many days I slacked on that. And it all reflects. And if you keep a diary, whether it be my fitness pal, whether you keep a notebook, it helps you reflect. Sometimes at night after I'm like settled in, I like to look back at my tracker and my, my fitness pal and see where I am. That helps me because it's like a plan. I know if I'm really good on my exercise and really good on my eating, I'm gonna have a great week. If I know that I'm lacking my exercise, maybe I'll have a stall, maybe I'll have an increase on the scale, but regardless, tracking makes sense. Please don't not do it. Please try it, and if you're tired of it, consider this lifestyle a job. Every day, if you go to work, if you take care of your family, if you pay your bills, everything's always on target. There might be times you don't feel like cleaning your house, but for the most part, I guarantee most of you, if you're like me, have a clean house. It's important. It makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel accomplished. Why not incorporate that with your life, with your nutrition, with getting healthy? Don't allow life to get in the way of your goals. Don't allow life to get in the way of your goals. You know my motto, the turtle wins the race. This isn't a race. I'm not saying that you guys by any means should be tracking and um, in a month's time you should have lost all your weight. I feel that it's a journey and if you have the proper tools, you will be successful. Don't be scared, don't be lazy, don't be complacent just track. Okay. So with that, I will leave you tonight. Stay focused. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. 
please join my Facebook group called Keeping It Keto with Felicia Nurse. It's the number one most successful, in my opinion, support group for anybody that's looking to lose weight on Facebook and it is totally free and we have new members joining every single day and you all, um, if you're new, you will be screened to make sure you're not some kind of crazy person and if you have joined recently or are new and thinking of joining, please read the group rules because there are some just to protect everybody. Also, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. Um, I post updates, photos, everything all the time. I pretty much live on the internet because my goal is to help you guys. It's my passion in life. My passion to help. Right, Kay? <laughs> all right, guys. So anyway, please subscribe to this channel. Thumbs up if you liked it. And I will continue to make more. And that should be all for this evening. So have a wonderful day. Stay focused. Track. I want to know down below in the comments, what, how do you track? Do you use my fitness pal? Do you write it in a book? I want to know down below. Maybe somebody's way of tracking will give somebody else an idea. So if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, have a great night. I love you. Thank you for sticking by, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>